finishing off on a diddler. <laughs> no diddy. Yeah, that was crazy right there. Wow. More to come with that because it's, it's just it's so much stuff. The Usher thing. Ooh. And the puffy flavor can't. The Justin freak Bieber, offs. But now Justin let's Bieber. talk about the psychic too. Ooh. And the psychic. The I remember you brought her to my attention. What's her name? Sloan something? Sloan, Sloan, Sloan Bella. Bella. Something like that. And then she says someone else is next. Yeah. And she was, I think, she was the first one to mention that Jay-Z will be put brought into this in some kind of way. She didn't say he was going to be the same but thing. But she did say the next But she one. said that. So people talk about why y'all want to make Jay-Z be the, you know, why y'all jumping on Jay-Z? Well, she said that. That's mm-hmm. why people are saying it. And everything she said, she said in March, something's going to happen. Nah, she but what it she, out there. she yeah. also yeah. said that it's going to take like two or three years, though. Yeah. Gene Dill, but Reggie she White. The next yeah. person is, what's it? The Bieber. Justin but, but, Bieber. But definitely... Yeah, just to be back to see him, but definitely Gene Deal. Shout out to him because for four or five years he been, he been on. He been telling you. He been talking about it for a minute. Yeah, he been talking about Diddy having something to do with possibly pop. Not caring about big. I just wanted to get that out there mm-hmm. before you know. what I'm saying mm-hmm. Kim Porter. Yeah, the yeah. Kim Porter situation. Well, some saying that he was talking about that Diddy was straight. Um, you know, different. I don't want to say the word here. Like you know what I'm saying, like. He was into man on man activity. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. I don't and you know, if it's, he was on the other if it's side that, of the then that ain't that's not illegal. So that's that's another thing. But mm-hmm. when you start talking about flying young girls across state lines and drugging them, that's when it becomes one of those things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't care what you do in your bedroom, that's none of my business. The gay shit to us is surprising, but, but it's, it's none not of my illegal. You know what I'm saying? But um, that other thing, that other thing, though, is yeah, what thing also with the youngins. That footage he did with Justin Bieber when Justin Bieber was was a Living kid. With him. Yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. Usher, yeah. And Usher's yeah. not saying nothing. You can get the Ferrari nothing. when you older. This, yeah, we gonna have fun tonight. We are not gonna disclose what we gonna do. Said, where we I going own you for twenty four hours or forty eight hours or something mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, say so he's mine for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. I was. <laughs> What's more interesting than yeah, anything is the people that are not saying anything, right? Yeah, hundred people was at those parties. We seen them in pictures and holding up champagne and all I of mean, this. It's, it's, and nobody saying nothing. I mean, good or bad, they don't. They they know nobody they on them tapes. Nothing. Yeah, if is. you knew you was on them tapes, would you would you come out and be like, you know what I mean, like if I was his <laughs> man, I'd be like, yo, no, we was partying like everybody else was partying. <laughs> Stevie J got bad at fifty. <laughs> yo, that goes that goes to tell you that everybody you think your man ain't, ain't your, your man. man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's why so, you gotta be careful out here. Even when they show some footage or video at a party and like nobody even acknowledged them, dude, like that's crazy. Yeah, you you amongst Diddy yeah. and you, Flavor Flav walk by MP. He's sitting there by himself, just it's standing. Just, that's cold. Because they know it's about to go down. Just a few years ago, they would shun. trip over each other. To yeah, get that's to a fact, bro. Yeah, like, yo, just a few years da, 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 ago. Yeah, let me go say what's up. Now it's like, man. You know, that's a lesson too. Though. Like when you up. You up. treat people the way you would want to be treated at all times. When you down, when you up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, just like you said, like, when he was up, everybody was tripping over himself to be at that party, take pictures at that party and all that. Mm-hmm. This this energy comes around or these accusations come around and people are walking right by you like they don't know you. Like, they, like you didn't make money for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And nobody's coming out, I'm saying, on a good or bad side. Nobody mm-hmm. coming out and saying, nah, my man not like that. Why? Yeah, that's a Somebody? Threat, yeah, nobody's not coming out and saying, like, nah, Diddy ain't like that. You can't get five people to say that? Not one person. That's crazy. People coming out saying the opposite. Like, yeah, nah, he's... He he, I had to, you, you got to tell him no. <laughs> but see, you got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Sometimes him you got Cat to Williams tell him is right, no. man. And he started this at the top of the year. He said he kind of almost low key predicted this. Well, one of the ones that well, predicted yeah. this when he said 2024. A lot yeah, of stuff's going to be coming to the light. The lies will be exposed. Mm-hmm. He said that right after he said, you got to tell Diddy no. Yeah. So it's he like. Sometimes you got to tell him no. Got to <laughs> tell him no. <laughs> your, your impression is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's see how this play out. It's um, 
this crazy might be world. interesting though. Yeah. After that raid, it's about to get interesting to see how yeah. it play out. But I will caution everybody, just let's watch this thing. Just watch every aspect of it. Because, um, you know, again, if he did some of this other illegal stuff, this trap again, then he deserves it. But look at how they just look. Let's watch how it plays out, man. Let's be careful um, and not jump to conclusions too quick. Yeah. Let's yeah. just watch how yeah. this plays out. And my heart goes out to all of the victims too. The victims of this, yeah, 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 yeah. All of the victims, all victims, everybody, and the children though. Let's not forget that the, they are the victims. Yeah. Got, oh, I see what you're saying. You got okay. children too. That's in the yeah. limelight. Like, yeah, yeah but in some of them, at. I'm not talking about the older children oh, okay. who were taking part. Of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I knew he was going to. Yeah. I'm talking okay. about his daughters, the the yeah. young daughters. They're, that they're, had nothing to do. That with had nothing. nothing to do with nothing. They're innocent, and mm-hmm. they said you know they might have even arranged that thing around while they was at school. That, you know, yeah, so those all which is, oh yeah, with the raids all, yeah, all yeah, yeah, and yeah. they raided New York too. They just didn't really talk about the yeah, New York yeah, part yeah. of it. Bro. So interesting, 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 man. Interest but this movie is becoming bro. better. It's a movie better, as a movie from a oh yeah, yeah. it's gonna be on stars too. Yeah. Uh, just Shut don't let nah, don't let it be on Tubi. Nah, it nah I watch it on Tubi. I like quality. Tubi though. Tubi, nah, Tubi this... right now is at that stage where they. They giving you all the dope shit for free because they want to. They want to reel you in. I pay for this movie though. I pay for this. Yes, they are. This is gonna be a three part movie. Name a two B movie that's fire that I just saw. Back to the Future. Oh God! They giving you all them oldies, all them old joints. They got Crooklyn. Legacy. Legacy. It's not not too many new movies that I like. That's out right now. They're not giving you no real documentaries, bro. Nah, they're not giving you documentaries. They're not giving you none of that. They give you a lot of, I ain't going to even hold you, they give you a lot of um, hood movies. I'm not yeah. saying hood, but. They are. You know what I mean? Like. But that, that's what it is. Classy. Nah, it's, uh, it's, you it's, know what I'm saying? I ain't mm-hmm. going to even say class B. It's other C, movies they, on there besides. Some of them is good, though. Yeah. I ain't going to yeah. even hold you. Because they got, they got, I'm telling you, they got mad at them old school joints. They got mad. They got like swordfish on there. Yeah. They got yeah, some. They got like legacy. They got like everything you find in like uh, Blockbuster. <laughs> I mean, say, they got everything you find wind. in Blockbuster. <laughs> they might be a new Tubi. Blockbuster. Might right, be. right, right. But eventually, what I'm the point I was getting to, they're gonna start charging eventually. They getting they getting you wheeled in. I don't know. Tubi's been the same for a bunch of years already. How you many know, years? We're talking about it now, but they've Since been around doing out. the same thing for at least five years now. All you got to do is have an email. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah been exactly, doing, yeah. exactly. So they like Sling TV. Access. Well, Sling TV is different. Sling is channels. I think eventually, I don't know. I still think eventually they're gonna be like, you know what? Let's get a, let's get paid more from this because now they're getting advertisement. But speaking of interesting, K Dot versus mm. Cole. Mm. Versus Drizzy, your your favorite rapper Drizzy. Mm. I know, why you, know you gotta be my favorite rapper? Oh shit, that's your favorite rapper though. Yeah, he fuck with him. Lying, bro. <laughs> why you gotta be my favorite rapper? I can't find. See, he, he looked specifically at me like your favorite rapper. I can't find. Yeah, I, mean. I fuck with Drake, but he ain't like you know. I, I can't say I don't fuck with him because I look at my phone. I got every one of his albums, so mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. I fucks with Drake, but uh, against like Kendrick. Twins, no, I, I'm so happy for this. You know, the crazy part phone. about it is that, for me, I don't even understand where it comes from. It's been going on for years, though. Yeah, yeah but again, the I don't understand career. where it comes from. Competitive spirit of hip hop. Now you know what? It was something that happened. That's what I think. Something happened early in their career when, uh, um, when, when, um, Dot was on because Dot was on Drake's album "Take Care." He was on mm-hmm. the song with him. Who? Oh, okay. Around that time, something happened where um, Kendrick kept saying something about this this nigga weird. I think it was something with writing. He thought he wrote something and somebody else wrote it. Now, mm. none of the facts came out, but this was 10 years ago. That story was going around. Mm. So that's probably you know, where it started. Th- that's where it started. Like, nigga, you fake. You didn't mm. write this. You know what I'm saying? And so Kendrick felt some some a way about that, and so he been stabbing at him all this time, you know, yeah. even in the control, even in the BT cipher, you know. And he went at everybody on tucked control. the sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes. Ha ha, yeah. jokes on you. High five. Mm-hmm. I'm bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Your shots will never penetrate. Pin a tail on a donkey boy. You benefit. Mm-hmm. Mm, that was all. He did for his him. Kendrick Google. That they got it. Him. <laughs> that was all. Right. So it was, you know. Since then, so it was something with some writing, and that's where he got he got proof of that. Yeah, that well, especially with the Quentin Miller thing coming yeah, out. Yeah, and then J Cole being in it. Um, 
who you think is going like what you like what's up out of all three who y'all think is the best lyricist who Kendrick Kendrick Drake Cole Mm -hmm. Kendrick Kendrick man Kendrick. Kendrick. Not taking away uh, nothing from Cole. Not taking nothing away from Cole. But they are three different. That's the Man, thing. Yeah. I got to listen to some more Cole. Which is cool. Because I like the, the shit he's been spitting lately or that I've been hearing he been lately. Work late. Wait. Yeah, he's been going in. Cole? Yeah. yeah J. Cole. Cole been putting oh, I, I haven't heard On anything. his features when he's been what? featured? Yeah, he's been. From, in. The, from the Drake, uh, yeah, that Drake Spider-Man joint that he did. That, they, they touring A couple of other joints. Mm-hmm. His wordplay. Yeah, yeah. Drake's been killing it. Like... Drake or not, Cole? Not Drake, Cole. I mean, um, Drake. Cole been killing it. Cole, Cole's yeah, yeah. been killing Cole's it. Been killing it. Mm. Cole's been killing it. Um, but Kendrick is so... Again, we talking about range. Like, he can, he can talk about a whole bunch of different shit. And each one of those things he can talk about in 10 different ways. Yeah, like, he, he can so talk about it in depth. Yeah, you know, you don't even have to like his music, but you gotta give it like this... The dude is a is a mad scientist. Yeah, moms. because they did a they had a meme and it said I think it said how New York niggas uh, hear Kendrick or maybe it said how non Kendrick fans hear Kendrick. I, I swear it said I New think York. I sent that to you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. did it say New York? I think so. And it, it is. And so, so. It, was, it was like. Me, 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 me. Yo, what did what did what did I can get that. <laughs> I get that though. And I was oh, like, I, was like oh, man. I was like, I could see that. I could it's see how not. they how they could say that. But the voice. So much, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying I could see how they could see that. Like basically with the voice and this, that, and the third. But you already know I'm a Kendrick fan. Like, you know, oh, good kid, Mass City. We, we see, um, that. Now, wait, wait, now Section he's a Kendrick 80. fan. I don't even have uh, that. That vouches for itself. That yeah, that bro, vouches. Like, now he's he he a Kendrick, Kendrick fan. Yeah, mixtape. Yeah, it's what I'm talking about. Section 80 is a mixtape. And then he turned into, you couldn't even imagine what he turned into. I never even heard of Section 80. Yeah, Section 80 was good. It was dope. What? Yeah, he was on him then. Yeah. He put me on the Kendrick. Good. Yeah. Yeah. He was still K Dot. Doing that good kid, Mad City, is yeah, still yeah. classic to me. So, Pyro um, the Crip, and then, all got along. So, if it's between these three, I mean, Drake is still it's nothing to be fucked with out here, though. So, whatever Kendrick do, you still got to be careful with him. You can't play with him. So, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting because Kendrick could be technical, and he could tell a story. Yeah. He got flow, nigga. Boom. <laughs> like he got yeah. flow and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw a bunch of people so getting hype off but that. Drake can do some shit with it comes, them crazy, and it plays in a club. Also. Yeah, if I don't it, know why they've been lying, but your shit is not that inspiring. <laughs> if it comes down to the cup to come down, right? Yeah. Right. Let's say Drake put out a excuse me track and it's on. It goes viral like right. commercially. I guess it do commercially, right. and. Kendrick puts out a track and it goes viral within the hip hop mm. community. Mm. Two different lanes. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who wins? The better lyricist. I, I think most people are looking at this like not Drake as uh, some popularity thing. When these two start going at it, it's going to be who's better okay. like, lyrically. And this is what this is. This is like a. Clash this of the like Titans. A, uh, this is like a Jay Z and Nas joint. Jay Z, Nas, Mayweather, Pacquiao. This okay, is one okay. Of those things. And okay. So if Drake ain't gonna go there with it, don't do a it. Popular song is not gonna get rid of. Not gonna beat Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have to go at each other directly. Right. You feel like they're gonna have to engage basically yeah, they're gonna directly. Have to engage, like that's a better word. Yeah, they're gonna have to engage. And I think most it's gonna have to be a, a, a straight up fight. Yeah, most dog people fight. Expect that. So if he makes something that's popular, that's not gonna be the one that takes. That, that says you win over Drake. Mm-hmm. So when Drake went with Pusha T, was that popularity or did they go ahead to When Drake, no, no, what Drake did you say? Went with Pusha T. Okay. I said when they went at uh, each other. Uh, okay. I didn't say that when. Was okay. That was, that, was that was lyrics. That was lyrics. Right? Yeah. And he went right back at Pusha. Yeah. But we but, going. No. But Pusha but, T got him yeah, on that though. But yeah. this is where this is this is where we try to just de- defer who's gonna be the victor because yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if he can't go with Pusha. What makes anyone think he could go with Kendrick? This is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but see, Drake got it's that. no but. <laughs> no. It's, it's, it's no it's but. Like, it's almost like any given Sunday, though. Like, I feel like, because I would have thought, even though I still feel how I feel, most people feel like Jay-Z 
lost to Nas in the battle. I can't I even listening back to the to the song, I can't even really dispute that. Right. But in my hardest of hearts, I want to say Hove won that. So I feel like in that same way, people going to choose who the yeah. winner is between these three. Like well, a, well, looking back on it, you can have a different perspective. Even with Drake and uh Pusha T. Now, Drake is still Drake. Mm-hmm. That shit that Pusha T did to him should have ended his career if we in hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we in hip hop, yeah, yeah, yeah. He continued being big and he's still the biggest dude on the block. Yeah, didn't, and where didn't is Pusha T? Pusha T still in his corner in his box. Now we ex- respect it. We respect him a little more as lyricism, but he it didn't move anything for him. I don't think we in a different environment now. You know, so we in an environment where that stuff really about, don't matter, right? We so you talk about a winner. I don't know. Your MC card really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? But it really does, though. To to us in certain situations, to to like certain hardcore yeah, fans, yeah, right? Yeah, like because battling it does. How are they gonna? How will they determine the winner? Like we'll say, like, well, I guess it'll be determined not, by just, just whatever be, song is the dopest. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good. Point because it's just it's gonna be determined on platforms yeah. like this because he's not yeah. right right because you're not gonna knock Drake off the top of the thing but you can put a little chink in his arm yeah you but can put a little stain enough? on his but T did it and it wasn't enough yeah <laughs> people definitely saying wasn't enough. oh we don't care well Meek Mill did it and it wasn't enough people said we don't care that he don't write mm-hmm. Meek Mill but that was yeah. supposed to be <laughs> blasphemy. Yeah, it depends on who does it too, though. People say we don't care. Yeah, just, I feel like if Fifty would have swung that sword, yeah, it would have been a yeah, different. No, <laughs> it would have been different. But Meek Mill's like, and he been on a downward slope. They so they, they call him Cheek Hill. Yo, you right. said you <laughs> no said, Cheek Mills or some shit. You said if Fifty would have did what? If Fifty would have did that, if he would have swung that sword, basically shot that same, same weapon that, that that Meek did, it would have been different. If he would have dropped it, and he would have did it smarter. Mm. No, that's a good point. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because Fifty just go at the more. He got a song called "So Disrespectful." Where he going at Hove? Just I'm so I'm, disrespectful. Yeah. So 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 disrespectful. Yeah, Fifty would have did that. Yeah, so it's like more weight. You're right. It does matter who do it. Yeah. So Kendrick got that. So if yeah. he does it, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit a little hard. Fifty got his share in the niggas though. <laughs> no, he he can end somebody. Yeah, exactly. He can yeah, end he's, somebody. He's he's he different. No, 50 he's different in this really in this game. Did in a whole labels court. Yeah, he really did though. <laughs> everybody. But he's really probably the only he rapper I could say that he ended somebody's career. In like a battle. Yeah, I mean it was some physical shit in it too, but, but <laughs> yo. and he really they they went at each other straight yeah. diss songs. Yo. It's that Eminem yeah. got involved, the locks. Yeah. They really had it was it like was some civil war civil type shit, 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 yo. Yeah, fifty the guy. That. That's a that that might be another segment. We might have to add that to the yeah. list. He's yeah. the yeah. guy. Man. Yeah, he really killed some niggas. And yeah. And all of the stuff we we listening to these days, he's been saying all of yeah. this stuff about Diddy for years. Going in on Diddy, puff of fruitcake. You can trust in the industry. It's that dude. It's fifty. It's fifty. Yeah. He gonna keep it a stack. I, I can't name any but nobody else except for maybe kissing the locks. He gonna keep yeah. it a stack. But, but, but he, even I would still say he, fifty a little more than a little them. More because they was in a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he, he's in a little bit more of a position of a power, so he could. Yeah. Fifty got the. And he's fifty. I don't care. Oh, I'm gonna tell it like it man, is. I don't and yeah. I don't fuck with these niggas. Yeah. And if you want to see me, fuck with them. you can see me now. Moves, yo. And now y'all thought I was crazy, like Kanye, but mm-hmm. now it's coming out, yo. So 50's definitely on a different level, but out of this, That's I'm going to have to, if I had to choose one, I don't even know. It would definitely be, be between, my first choice would have been Kendrick, then, then Cole. But now hearing Cole recent, this is gonna be one of those ongoing things we're gonna be talking about because yeah. it's 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 ongoing. Like, yeah. But who you think? Who y'all think? Like, I'm. I, nah, uh, but it, it, I haven't heard anything from Cole, so. Yeah. Nah, Cole's been. Cole's been yeah, I listen, gotta, I'm gonna send you some Cole stuff because his yeah, he been recent features, yo. He's been he's been killing. Some yeah. Because mm. he keeps saying he's gonna wordplay. So he's been his features are double entendres and all that. Like, but this is not a Cole thing. Kendrick and Cole is friends. Before yeah. they both dropped albums, they did an album together. They've been That's friends true. since the beginning. Matter of fact, Cole introduced Kendrick to Drake. I still think, I still think they, could, they could be beefing lyrically. Nah. They, they are friends. Because really he friends. said niggas think they steppers. Da, 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 da. They'll go at each other. And he had the song Stepper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think... Like they, Hove and Big. I mean, Big and Nas. When Big was a lot of right, Nas when that, right, but they right, were still cool right. and shit. But I think these two, him and Cole is real friends. I think maybe Kendrick... 
And he's right. Like, how you gonna go stand next to that nigga? So you gonna catch some shots too now? Because if it's Kendrick versus oh, so Drake, he basically choosing that's, sides. That's really what you it was. Like, he's gonna do a good. Yeah, he said y'all niggas teaming up. You know how I feel about this? I told you why mm. I don't like him. Yeah, yeah. Right. If it's Kendrick versus Drake, I think it's a boring battle. Yeah. If it's just Kendrick versus Drake, I just think that's boring. Cole is the wild card in it because I've been hearing a lot of his recent stuff. Yeah. And some of it is not even recent. Some of it is like from two, three years ago. I'm just catching up on it yeah. between, because you know how they put the compilations together. And he's he been going in, yo. Yeah, he's been going in. He right. nice with his wordplay and all that. Gonna battle, though. I don't, I don't, this battle ain't about Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a, ever going to be a straight up. Nah, nah, this ain't about Cole. This track, this track, this, yeah, yeah, but I think it's it's gonna continue. I like it when it's like this. I like the subliminal. It's gonna be a lot of subliminal. It's the best out. way to this do it. Here. That's what I'm hoping it's not. It's been that for ten years already. Cause I'm hoping they go head to head, and it's not. It's it's, it's only what's what's interesting about this one is um future and all that and Metro Boomin. All of them is in it now. But so now nah. industry is clicking up. Those are top dogs. I keep they hearing Metro Boomin. Dogs. I don't even know who that is. But well, Future don't like Drake. Metro Boomin don't like Drake. That's why he's on the song with Future well, dissing Drake. I think him and Future got beef from when he did that album together. Yeah. yeah. You know Metro Boomin? So this is no, the Future thing. and Drake. Oh, okay, Drake. okay, okay. They got an album together. That's and probably a nice so album, weird. a sonically good sounding album. Nah, it was dope. Yeah. Future right? is a dope artist, bro. Yeah. But they Future's say dope. I'm gonna listen to Future today. Start today. Yeah. Nah, nah Future's, Future's dope. Future's dope. Nah, Future's dope. Man. It took me a long time mm-hmm. to even listen to him. But Future currently, he is, he is the, he's that nigga. Future currently, you know we don't get that. He one of them ones. Currently, amongst your regular top five, is a part of new top five. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Amongst your core established nah, top five, it's, it's, he is in top five. Kendrick, Cole, Drake, Future is the only. They say big three, but it's really that's it's a good really question. Florida. That's it's a good a really question. Yeah. And Future is one of them. We well, yeah, I didn't say Crooked Eye, so I don't know how. Well, Crooked Eye is like. Oh, I get what you're saying. He's, he's not like really a teacher. To okay, the teacher. okay, okay, okay. Like, he's not even in that conversation. Yeah, really. but if he was, yeah. like it would be it'd be a whole different it'd be a different ball game. This whole shit. Yeah, it'd be a whole totally different, you know. <laughs> but this is gonna play out nicely. I hope they don't just do the, you know, the. Back I hope it's not sucks. just a one, yeah. a one hit or one song. That's it. It needs to. Well, go definitely ain't like like watch when you, when you when you type in you know the beef Kendrick J Cole yeah. Chris Chris Brown I said Chris Brown um <laughs> Drake. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nah, you, okay. One last thing on this thing. um. Big Sean came out the other day. <laughs> so, I don't know where Big Sean thought he was in. He's a mentionable one, though. No, nah, I don't know. I don't like Mentionable for what? Talk like, the big three. Top for, of this era. Well, not top. Of that class. No. Of that cl- he's, but he's he in said, there. He's top 20. He said. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. He said, um, I just didn't have the energy to compete with them. Because he couldn't compete with them. Yeah, he couldn't compete. So, stop. Yeah, yeah, stop nah, Big Sean. Nah, that, that wasn't. Yeah, yeah, he, he yeah. did a whole Instagram something. I didn't have the energy. Well, you just don't have the energy, dog. Yeah, because because <laughs> I, I honestly look at what's his name, Big Sean. I find him to be like one of those cheesy rappers. Yeah, he's boring. Like like Nick Cannon. Yeah, I'm fired up for you. Know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And every now and then he have a genius verse. Yeah, I don't want to like I, I ain't gonna front. I even liked his verse on Control, but Kendrick's verse was just yeah. up here like so much yeah. that. It just outsh- it outshined him, but like, yeah. I liked him with Kanye when he was doing that, that all that shit. He was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Change yeah. and the click. They what was the Cause name he, of that? he got the voice. Um, what was the name of him? Um, a, and he good dropped music. Something. What's a good, good music? music. Yeah. When he was on good music. <laughs> good music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sounded yeah. dangerous. Then. That was the best version of him. Yeah, that was the best version of him. But after that, it's like, all right, Big Sean, come on. He got with Janae Aiko. They got family now. Mm. Oh, that's what he doing now. He so he just he just yeah. kicking back, chilling. Yeah. Daddy, man. He done with the business. <laughs> done with that. He don't want to rap no more. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with being domestic. Ain't nothing wrong man. with that. But he yeah, don't want to rap. When you when you get domesticated, don't want to do anything no more. That you just yeah. like you know what I'm saying? It's you're a just different. a fucking loser. You can't now. lose your you can't yeah, lose your grind, dog. Because <laughs> you know what? Now. You lose your grind, and she don't like you no more. 
Yeah, you, know you lose saying? who you are. Cause she likes you because you was ambitious. Yeah, yeah. you got to keep doing yeah. those things that you was doing when they <laughs> you know? met you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what attracted it. them to you. Wait, 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 wait. Unless you graduate from that. You, know? you say you got to keep doing what you did to attract. Them. Nah, nah. nah I'm just saying you got to stay ambitious it's, it's and to, hungry about things. You got to have dreams still. Like don't you have to continue to do those things that made you yourself. Like don't just get with somebody and right. start right, right, and just cut off your whole life. And now your whole life is strictly about Around that her. person because then you just get boring to them. Yo, because you got to continue right. to do those things that right, make okay. you right. that that. Who you gives are. you your validation. Yeah, right, you, right. Because right. okay, as much as she says she wants you around, she don't want you around all the time. Nah, no. Nobody does. She wants to miss nobody you. Nobody does. <laughs> she wants you to be doing wants your to thing. Be she wants to know that you out time. doing something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm she saying? She wants you to do your thing. Be busy. <laughs> come back to me with some stories about yeah, what you did in yeah, the world. Yeah, be busy. Come <laughs> back <laughs> with the story. Come back with the money. Yeah, I want her to do the same. You go out, have your friends, go do your thing. I'm not going to stop none of that. Come back to me with the stories and things that you learned out there, and then you know we sh- we better together. We be better. Speaking you know of that? which, how y'all feel about the whole um, Dame Dash suing Rockefeller, or, or excuse me, Jay Z for Rockefeller Records, right? And then an anonymous buyer who I think personally might be um, Cam and Mace. Bada bing, bada boom, Cam oh, and Mace, because yeah. the way they was talking about it on the show. Mm. So you know. We gonna see how that kind of play out in court, like, because right. if I'm Dame Dash, I'm gonna be real. I'm putting myself I in the place of Dame Dash, nigga. I help. We all we all put into this, but I helped build Rockefeller. Yeah, I helped put into Rockaway. I, I, I help. We did paid I, in full. I help it. Can't I take am. it away from the 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 emblem, the piece. I think he said one of his mans did the drawings for it or whatever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So they all had a a, a, a take in it, and then for him to just be thrown to the wayside. Yeah. It's crazy. By the way, I always thought that logo was whack as shit. Yeah? I always did. I never liked that logo. But I liked it. Logo, Looking at it now, though. It was just corny as shit. I still, I still. Even on change, it was Because it had the, now. I, I liked it on the change. You I didn't like, like the Rockefeller? I never liked it. I what about you? It. But anyway. That's I mean, a, I. I always thought it was fresh. No. I liked it because it had diamonds. Yeah, the diamonds yeah, made it, it look makes fresh. It makes it look a little different. Yeah. The diamonds made it look Yeah, I might crazy. have to look this up to see what it's looking like. Depending on who had the piece. Who had the piece. Because some pieces were more established than others. Yeah. And some people had the little pieces. The little R with the little. You know what I mean? It was cool. Nah, this shit Look fresh. It some people have some blue. You're right though. The diamonds do. The diamonds do make this shit look the fresh. Diamonds make it look. Yeah, yeah, that shit look better. fresh. The diamonds do make it look fresh. Oh, fresh. Here it does look. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That shit the is diamonds, like though, the the logo itself. As far as logos go, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of. That, they made all, it look alright. It's all about the, Rockefeller the, Records. The needle. The, the logo was the shirt. You right. know what I'm saying? It's what you put on it. Right, you put right, on right. with the shirt. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. yeah. The diamonds was the compliment. You're to saying it's how you put stuff. it all yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. And plus we saw that as when we see that, we think of Jay Z. So the 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 brand recognition yeah. was different. Yeah. So we didn't I back then I never even stopped to think that's a whack ass logo. Yeah, me neither. Now looking back on it, yeah, but especially how it looks right there. Yeah, yeah. But what it represented was more than it looks very rudiment or elementary. Yeah, and they and they and they had their little it's 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 like seventies, eighties stylistic to it without color. Right. But they they had they little they had little. Let me not even say that because I don't want them to feel like. But they had they run though. You know what I'm saying? Like Rockefeller. Yeah, they yeah. had a hell of a run. They had they had a and hell Dame, of a and run. Was a part of that. Beanie Nobody Seagulls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, Your Kanye's. They had on the artists, end of it. they had movies, they had clothing, they had shoes. Paid in full under their belt, kind of, sort of, with, with you know Dame Dash. So, That's a classic movie he got yeah. on his belt. Oh, the Paid in Full, I could still watch that. Yeah. I might watch that today. Paid in Full is dope. Yeah, Paper Soldier was all right. They got a couple Paper of Paper Soldier was all right, too. You they got a couple of Kevin movies. Hart was in that? Yeah. yeah. So if I'm Dame Dash, I'm feeling right. like, yo, y'all niggas, y'all owe me, basically. Like, I'm not saying you owe me, but you owe me. I was a part of this, dog. Like, I helped, I helped build names. you. But then Ho say, well, build another one. I'm founding <laughs> father, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it is yeah. what it is. But yeah. um, it's crazy, though. But you know, the weird thing I would say about it is, uh, what is Mace and Cam going to do with it? 
I think I honestly, know Cam gonna put out a bunch of his albums on it. Yeah, because Cam, they, he got you. As we both know, we all know, or three of us, or three of us, true, we know that true. he got history with Rockefeller. Yeah, and this so is, for him, that's the ultimate chess yeah. move. It's like what I believe. to Jay Z. Yeah, I mean, yeah. wasn't he vice president at one point too? That day, that's why they man? fell out. That, that was the top you know of their fallout. So, you know what niggas' verses getting deleted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Delete yeah. my verse, I delete your verse. Yeah, shit is crazy. It Kim could, like, like you like said, it shit. could be Delete a chess that. move. That's a chess move. Like, I'm buying Rockefeller. Checking I'm now control, controlling reasonable doubt, right? Because that's still under Rockefeller, right? I would like to think Ho has control of that publishing, but I don't have the facts on that, so I can't really, you know what I'm saying? Prob- I don't Fact know. Checker. Yeah, I, I would like know. to think, though. Not just Ho by itself, though. But they were talking about it on the episode. They was like, we'll have... It'll be all of them. We'll have, exactly, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that's a, that's a nice day. little catalog. Yeah. Imagine every player's on that on that Dame joint. Dame probably owns that catalog mm-hmm. too. This, which is why yeah. he still got money. Oh, oh, and that's another thing I want to mention. Yeah. Dame Dash also said, because he was on some interview, he said, "Let me be clear." He said, "I'm not selling my portion for 1.8 million, or maybe it was Law and Crime that broke it down." Mm. But they said the portion 1.8 million of whatever he gets. So if he gets 10 million, 1.8 million is what he owes. So whoever he owes that bread to is. You know, his debtors, he got to pay that back to them. So it's not mm. like he's just selling his portion for one. He could be selling it for $5 million yeah, and then yeah. using mm. that $1.8 to pay his bill. Yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. so I just want to put that out there yeah. so it don't seem like he's broke and he's just, you know what I mean? Right. Even though I don't, nah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think Dame going to be broke. Suing Dame from Harlem. Yeah, yeah Dame is nah, a hustler. Harlem, bro. Nigga. Yeah. Dame, Dame know how to get money. Yeah. Dame is a hustler. I can't front on him because yeah. every time you see him, he's doing trying to do something. Man. And you I can't front. Saying? I like how them CEOs look. Like them, the um shoes he got. I like the jackets. Right. I see jackets. the jackets like is the fire. fire. I want to get one of those. Jackets. Jackets. Yeah, the colorways like the is fire. Yeah, I can't find. I, I don't know about the shoes, but the jackets are dope. Shout out to Dame if you watching. Send us three jackets, man. Oh yeah, we rap it for sure. Yeah, I rock it. You know, um, you know, sponsor the next couple five or ten episodes. You know, it is what it is. Thirty forty. Episodes, you know. We with you. We with you. We appreciate your whole grind. Um, with Dane. But I wonder how that's going to turn out. That's going to be interesting to see how that turns out between who gets ownership for that. Because even like I got to go over to Cali because I love Cali. I'm watching the Suge Knight is the one of the realest oh, on the have? planet, yeah, yo. Yeah, I don't Cali, care, yeah, yeah. Why yo. You say that? Cause he was talking about how he smacked Jermaine Dupri, yeah. and he just say it's so. <laughs> he's just so effortless with his joint. He was a monster back yeah. then. Yeah, back when people were scared of him. But I feel monster. what he was fighting for though. He was like, I was, I was just fighting for artists. And he said, yeah. he said everything wasn't on the up and up. But he was like, I just be fighting for artists. Yeah. Mad people, but these really stories. Yo, Matt Shug, people was man. Coming to, that's what people don't talk about. Mad people was coming to him to get their contracts right, whatever that meant. Yeah. Mary J was yeah. one of them. Um, uh, um, he was like the godfather uh, of that shit. Yeah, a bunch of people. Ray J was one of yeah. them. Yeah. The other nigga yeah. from, wasn't yeah, DLC other, one he, of them? He did, some, he, he did something for a whole bunch of people. Went to those labels and like, t- get his money right. Hung niggas mm. over balconies. He, that's what he used to do before, before Death Puffy Row. did it to Wale. Yeah, yeah, before Death Row. This, <laughs> this is what he was doing. Allegedly. Mm. That's why he got Death Row, because of his reputation. Um, yeah. That's Monica. Crazy. Uh, all of them. You know, she, 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 he, even um, Left Eye. He oh, because he said Jermaine Dupree owed him money. It just came back to me. He owed him bread. He was on the phone. He said, I was talking to somebody else on the phone, and they was trying to get me to chill. And it's like, don't do nothing crazy to him. Don't do nothing crazy. So he said, I just, I forgot how he said he smacked him, but he said, I smacked fire out him. <laughs> I was like, yo. That is crazy. The way he talk is cool, too. I don't yeah. Know. Bitch ass Diddy knows yeah. I ain't murdered too Yeah, high. yeah. <laughs> and he be going, yeah. Nine years ago. Yeah, this is, and that's nine years ago. 7.4 million views on that. Track. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, now everything that's coming out with the key D thing, yeah, even Fat Joe, yeah, <laughs> yeah, got stories of Fat Joe, Fifty, yeah, Mm-mm-mm. and then overnight somebody popped him, Saint Shug, <laughs> him, and nobody was scared of him no more. Yeah, <laughs> that's why the bully shit. The though. playing field was level. Long term goal, but I still think some of them dudes is afraid of him. No, like the yeah. If if it happened with Jermaine Dupri or whoever it happened with in the industry, Shug Shug night. No yeah, because he's locked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they That's feel why safer. They all talking. 
And they know he got 20 something years. They yeah, so by the time he get out, they're like, all right. <laughs> So he's gonna be an old man. He's still yeah. gonna slap your ass. Helped out MC Hammer too. MC Hammer. Yeah. He was helping the whole industry. Yeah. Matter of fact, to go to MC Hammer, Left they eye. said MC Hammer Left might eye, yeah. be involved in that Diddy shit too. Yeah. I don't know how. Damn. Talking about like those are avenues to move shit around, like Went money to the Diddy and that party. For... That shit is crazy. Went to the Diddy party. I'm telling you. Ooh, Uh-oh. so we talk about the Diddy parties. Yeah. What goes on at the Rock Nation club? Yeah, that's another thing I was thinking. Nobody want to say that. Yeah. Diddy was there. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He could tell you. They that. probably got a brunch after the brunch. Diddy. He could tell you. Mm-hmm. He could tell you. Think about that. What's going oh, no, on, Rock? Bugging. Ain't nothing happening at the Rock Nation, bro. What's going on? Ain't nothing happening at the Rock Nation, bro. My man, 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 man say that, too. My man, Sean, say that, too. Oh, nigga, that was different. Yeah, but uh, Sean don't, don't know, though. I'm just saying, we got to think. Sean don't know. Yeah, yeah. And have you ever been to a Rock Nation brunch? Sean, yep. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. What when? are you talking about? In 2020. Let me see the pictures. As he's looking for those pictures... Sean's never been to so have you been to the back rooms at the Rock Nation no, brunch? No. This is what I'm no. talking about. Don't even even if you did, no, no he wasn't. Are you getting invited? Because <laughs> even shout out to Ness, the rapper who's down with, you know. Oh yeah, Ness Cheesecake. Ness is the, 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 bothered. The, Something happened to him. But he came out in the interview and he was talking about like I watched about an hour of the of, the, of that podcast. Shout out to that podcast. I don't remember, but I'm gonna put some of it in here. Enes. Enes. Mm-hmm. Yo, he was he was dropping knowledge. He said Yo, they sent us. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he said niggas. Um, yeah, see, he what said talking about Rock Nation brunch. Nigga, my daughter was there. Okay, that's not it. Any, anyway, so he said. <laughs> Let me restart my bones. Laughing. All white. We was eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> nigga, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? We was eating chicken nuggets at the Rock Nation brunch. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> but oh yeah, no that, that might be it. And that's what when Ness was basically talking about. He's like, nah, there's a party after the party. He said they know who to lead down the white hallway to that oh, yeah. door at the end of the hallway and all that. So it's like, I'm, I don't have no information, but I'm assuming maybe possibly Rock Nation could be the same. If it's industry, it's industry. Man. All of them is the know, same, bro. It's, it, all of this is the same conversation. Same. That's all I'm saying. It's too Nobody many things coming it. out. It's too many people coming forward. Nobody want to mention it, but it's all in the same. Jaguar Wright. Y'all heard of her? Yeah. Come mm-hmm. on. She and like, she been saying it for a couple of years. A few years. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just, she's just going she's hard. Crazy. She been going she, hard. She crazy as shit, though. But she has been <laughs> saying this for, for a good, good, good minute. Yeah. You know? Going at Mary J. Blige. Yes. Everybody. Everybody feel like it's their time to speak now. Yeah. Because the gatekeepers and the people in power are getting trampled. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like they can't do nothing to me now. So let me say what let I got to say. say. Yeah, let me say something. Yeah. And also to his point earlier, or one of y'all made this point earlier, you still going to have some that's kind of like, let me just... Let me not say nothing just in case mm-hmm. this nigga, this shit. Because imagine this shit get dismissed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still want to be able to next to him to get that. <laughs> <laughs> now, but they going to all show up at that party. Yo, they, they if this shit get dismissed. There's a bunch of paid actors. Bro. Now, that's a big if, but if. They going to all show up at that party. Because in all dismissed. the allegations, there are no actual charges found yeah. yet. Yeah. It's alleged. You're right. So right about a that. Of things that really, in that really, all the allegations, yeah. there are no actual charges filed yet. Mm-hmm. You're right. It's alleged. A lot yeah, of alleged civil. stuff, it's but it, it's alleged yeah, though. Was civil. That wasn't yeah, yeah. So it's definitely alleged. You're definitely right about that. So, but this is um, reputation um, killing. This is yeah. yeah, murder at his best. He can't do anything publicly anymore. This is a no legacy destroyer. He this can't attach his destroyer. face to no Sherrod. None charged, of that. He'll never be the same again. Yeah. So this was like Bill Cosby. He stained like this was Divagio spanking him for suing him. All of this is going to turn out to be that. So yeah, I think it's that too. You know I think that's a part of it. Uh, it's something. It got to be. It got to be more to it than that. Too, but uh, but I think it's that. You got to think, those liquor companies have been around for hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. But bro. And, they, and their boards, they it's not. They have no interest in hip-hop. They don't really care. They're just trying to get a customer. They just want that money. They yeah. want the money and back. And for him that think he was bigger than them, he had, they had to spank him. Brother Love is now, bigger than he him. he happened to have a bunch of dirt for them to spank him with, pause, but that mm-hmm. was the thing, right? 
mm-hmm. he, he compromised himself. Yeah, like that's that's my point. If you didn't yeah. have nothing for them to say, they wouldn't. He compromised himself because he thought he was bigger than he is. You know what I'm saying? We talk about Damn. billionaires. Yeah, he got a few billion, but there's the Zuckerbergs and the Gates is with hundreds yeah. of billions. Yeah, you're not them. Yeah, you're not on that you're level. Icon, These are the ones that sign his checks. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, those liquor companies are. They've been around. They have connections, and you ain't gonna just do that to us. Mm, mm, mm. Plus, they don't like black people. Yeah. Let's be straight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, it's it's like I say. It's a lot. I can't wait to see what's going to come from this. Yes, like, what's true. actually going to come? Is he actually going to get charged? Is there actually going to be jail time? Is there actually going to be a court trial? Is there going to be a trial? Be a Good trial. point. Before is the jail time. Be a trial, bro. Over what? Yeah. Over whatever they may have found. Candace Owens said they was, it was actually the big wigs raiding the crib so that they can hide the evidence because he has a lot of powerful people. That's This is what she was saying. Which is a good point, you know. Saying that they going in there raiding the crib, then hiding the evidence in the crib. No, if you if you a powerful person, you could probably or have like, the FBI running in, get the shit for you, and then move it to where you want it. Paid actors. That's what they did. To paid actors. That's what they did. To paid so actors. That was in in the um in the raid. Make it look like a raid. The story was like <laughs> when they went into his um um his Manhattan apartment. He has a, they, they describe it. He has like an American flag shit mm. on his dinner table as a, as a, um, um, a cover on his dinner table. It's American flag. And then he has a picture of uh, Clinton in a dress or something in that same room. Of <laughs> I seen that picture. <laughs> and they said, um, so when they, when they went in there, um, the agents went straight for a safe. Mm. Now that was the initial rush. When the other agents came through, that safe was gone. Mm. So it was about going in and getting the secrets we know he has. That's and crazy. that's safe. And getting out of there before everybody else comes in. And then now y'all come in and y'all right. get the rest There's of whatever it says. This shit bunged out, though, because all, I'm not saying all three of them, but two of them were live, bro. Mm-hmm. It ain't that much coordination in the world that could coordinate this live in real time. I think it is now. I don't yeah. know, man. Drones think, and all that stuff. Know, but that's man. happened before, though, in history. Yeah. But you, it, Pablo you got, Escobar. You got they got to raid like eight yeah, safe houses make, and all that get shit. Them all at the same time. Yeah. And film it and broadcast it live. I mean, that's that was different. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, yeah, that was different. That was different. Well, that, that's when you include the helicopters and the drones and shit like that. Bruh, this yeah. Diddy's live. a high profile person, though. Yeah. It's and been it's a big o- story. It's been other high profile cases too, but yeah. they weren't done live like this. Like yeah. this. It's the future. We, the future is now. Bro, we talking like a couple of years ago with Trump. Yeah. yeah. This wasn't the done Mar-a-Lago live. wasn't like that. Yeah, when, this is what I'm saying. And secrets at his crib, like in his bathroom. This is what I'm saying. I've seen, I, I feel like I have seen like the, the, the helicopters flying over while niggas is getting raided before, like we on camera. We have seen that before. I mean, Even in Pablo Escobar, they have footage of that. And that was years yeah, ago. Yeah, OJ. We when had they some, ran in on they, him they and they had the guns they and a bunch shit. Of apartments, and then, but yeah, we saw this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But he's talking about the live view from the... That's because they, 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 they just didn't have a live Simultaneous helicopter. Simultaneous live view. He's talking about both coats. Nah, this in Florida. I mean, we had we had shock and awe where they were showing the war yeah. on different parts of the world live on TV and yeah. stuff like that. That's a new era, though. Yeah. And Diddy is, you know, entertainment is a big thing. Yeah, he's, so he's, he's, he's a big he's figure known. in that. You know what, so what I'm saying? This is all entertainment. They, they, they knew it was going to get views, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's why they didn't show that. New York because that's a right? penthouse. You can't have a helicopter above a penthouse. I'm telling you. Yeah. You got a good point. You keep coming back to that too, and they keep matching up. Shit is entertaining. He said, "The world is a stage." I I, I heard you. The world is a stage, man. Yeah, Yeah. it is interesting. But this is what I say: we got to step back and look at the big picture of what's happening here. This is just to assassinate his character. They don't have anything real. This is really a social media. I could say this stage of it is to assassinate because I think the victims that came forward. Allegedly, like you know, nah, they if, real, they, if they, they went through something yeah, with him, yeah, yeah, they then you went through something with him. But I'm just saying, we how they executing this? Away from him. How they executing this is, yeah, you're right. It's something. This, to this, this it's shit something is a movie. This, this is yeah. this is Diddy building his what is it called autobiography. Mm-hmm. That's when you yeah. tell your story yeah, like while you're alive. Uh-huh. This mm-hmm. is his yeah. autobiography. Yeah. Because if they do get something on him, if all that stuff Book is true. Book deal getting ready to come out. Movie getting ready to come out. Yeah. He's either going to fake kill out. himself. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. He going back to the island where they can't extradite him back to, to the world. If he, what if he come out on the other end and never gets arrested now? All that's coming out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he definitely don't want it to go to he court because in court, it, all know, the evidence got to come out. So, yeah. Mm. yeah, I don't know. Something weird about this. It really is. Did he? Do it. Diddy's the weird, the weird idiot. Did he do it? Diddy is that weird one. I wanted to talk a little bit about Jules Santana, but it ain't really. Nah, it's not really much because he he spoke on the whole um, erasing of the uh, the the verse, Jay Z verse. But yeah, that, that's like oh yeah, that's Cam, like the owner yeah, Rockefeller. Yeah, he said he started Dipset and all yeah. that. And she James told that story better than he did, though, too. Yeah, James told that shit way better. Put this up here. What if Beyonce got one? Nah. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, wasn't, wasn't we was talking about that? that too. Nah. <laughs> it was me and somebody. We was on the phone. We was talking about the they battle they between just Hove. Moved to Africa. We was talking about right. the battle between Hove <laughs> like and Beyonce. Like, like, I mean, Hove and Beyonce. <laughs> the battle between Hove and Nas. And we was like, yo, because how Hove was talking about how he got with Nas, mm-hmm. we was like, yo, what if Nas would have got with. um. Beyonce, I'd have been like, I was like, yo, that nigga, he would have won the war at he that point. Won. Who was I talking nah, to? He would have won. He would have won. I forgot I what I was think talking to. Hov and Beyonce was a thing at that time, was it? Nah, but I'm saying like in the whole aftermath, like now, what if he? Nah, uh, he would have won the war. Yeah, he won that would that would have that would have took the war. war. Yeah, yeah, that would have killed him. Yo, I know Jay Z fans don't like to hear this, but getting with Beyonce solidified his shit. Yeah, yo, that yeah. that took him and it looked like a better couple, him, Nas and and, and Beyonce. Him, his icon <laughs> status was outside of rap at that point when he and him and Beyonce got together. That mm-hmm. that did something for his image. Yeah, I think it yeah. did something for both of them. For both of them, but for definitely for him. Because according to um the psychic chick Sloan Bella, yeah, that's an arrangement. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. with this whole that. going back to Diddy, everything leads back to Diddy, bro. And this whole situation that is gonna come forward, she's saying like in a couple of years, they gonna be getting a divorce. Yeah. Because whatever is coming out, and then it's like da da da. da. She yeah. also said some other weird stuff too that I, I was just like, yo. She was like, yo, Beyonce is a a, a vampire. Yeah, I've heard that. In no, no. that. The, the Kardashians or witches and yeah, like she said some crazy stuff. Spirit and she's cooking. like, yo, these people feed off of your energy, energy. like that's their vampire, that's their like vampire. that's yeah. how they are, like able to thrive and yeah. survive because yeah. you giving them the energy. And I'm and like, they they pull people around them for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But what she's saying is just, I mean, is is. Is is basic universal kind of talk what yeah. we're talking about. You know, we we talk about that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. We talk about watching the people you hang around, watch your friends. That's like your parents saying, "Watch the friends you hang around." Mm-hmm. Same watch kind the company of thing. you keep. You know, those ain't your friends. Those ain't your friends. Same those kind of thing. But it becomes hard when you got like millions of dollars being dangled in front of you, and you're already used to. They get you used to the lifestyle first. And mm-hmm. then they like if you want to move up to this next level, oh, yeah. continue to take care of your family and your friends, and continue to floss in your hood. Yeah, you might have to walk through one of these doors. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So at that point, it gets hard to decide, I guess, for certain people. You know what I'm saying? Morals versus yeah. integrity type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and some of them like I do it. Got what nice. It yeah. would have been a great look. Yeah, oh, I think that's man. a great look. aesthetic look. That's not, man, that's why I said it. Look. It would have been, been a great aesthetic. They'd be all over everything. Yeah, aesthetic <laughs> yeah. super cut. Forge, GQ, oh, Ebony, man. Ivory, whatever, whatever. Oh, man. Times. Come on, man. That's what I'm crazy. saying. I don't know, but could it would have been they a, kids a been look? It would have been a look <laughs> aesthetically, but financially, would it have worked? I don't know. Would it have turned into this mega billionaire couple power Probably, couple? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. Would the investments have... But Nas tuition? invested in Ring, no? Nah, n- n- yeah, who? Ring. Okay, cool. Nas, but would that have happened? I don't know. If I think that so. would have been a thing. She would have already been more way, um, worth way more than him at, at, when they got together. Yeah, at that point. Would that have even lasted exactly. with that kind of dynamic? Exactly. I think so, because I think she would have... She would she been feeling Nas a little bit more. Cause Nas, she, not, yo, cause, come on, and I go Nas, based Nas. off of women I know. Most women that I know all love Nas. They yeah, they they, they respect Ho, but they nah, Nas they is love they Nas. They, fuck with Nas. Yeah. they yeah. love Nas because no Diddy, he's cute. Mm. 
Dude, he's a handsome. Pause. He's a handsome fifty yeah. year old man, bro. Yeah, yeah. I get it's that. not too yeah. many twenty year old men that look like Nas, bro. Yeah. And I'm not seeing this on some like, like trying to be funny. Like he's handsome, bro. He's a, yeah. a good looking man. Bro. Solid, yeah. he's solid, 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 solid dude. Solid dude. Skin yeah. smooth, drink water, yeah. whatever. Hair yeah. groomed, probably smell and always good. Cool. Always cool. Always That's himself. That's the thing that I like about him. Just always you know cool. Saying? You don't like, really see him out of his back. Element Women like that. Even in movies, yeah. he was cool. You just haven't cool. changed, bro. Yeah, yeah, Too yeah. cool. Yeah. You know how but many yeah. people get up and fall down and get up and fall yeah. down? He's been. Same. The same, Consistent. and he matter actually probably evolved as he got older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's you know what I'm saying. Yeah. All the investments he so, made, all the. So yeah, he that, grew. That, he grew. That's, what that's, I'm basically saying, he grew well. That's interesting, right there. That's, that's that would be a good couple. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That'd be interesting. What if Nas got be. with? Nas with gonna shut feet. this motherfucking podcast down. I mean, yeah. uh, Jay Z gonna shut this yeah. podcast yeah, he gonna down. Be like, yeah. Don't just because that shit you say, yo, he ain't gonna like that shit. You know what? I mean, if you're gonna do that, whole do that, man. That video got if you do that zero views, whatever flows you go. We gonna say it and we gonna. You know Put it on display and let the world know what you did to us. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we're going to have a problem when we see you. we have a problem. Yeah. All that Brooklyn bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I'm diving we're on you. As soon, soon as we see I'm diving on you. That's we're it. To the <laughs> <in the court. laughs> you remember that nigga in the court? You remember that nigga in the court? Jumped on the judge? Yeah, Yo, he, he had having it. Ups. Yo, he had ups. He jumped over the he whole said, shit like Whoop. this. <laughs> and he was all calm in the beginning. Yes, Your Honor, I feel Yo, like I'm going to... Yo, he had ups. I bet you I don't need any jail time. And she like... Nah, nigga, you going to jail. Remanded. Bitch. Nigga's whole body was over shit. this shit. <laughs> yo. He cleared the whole Yo, the whole cleared the whole shit, yeah. bro. Yo, he Perfect ups, form. Yo. He had ups. <laughs> and then nobody came to help him for a little while. Yeah. She was getting pounded <laughs> it, was just, it was like, ooh. She was getting pounded on <laughs> Word. Yo, <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> I think he ended up getting like five years or something like that. I thought he would get a lot more than that. He only got five years for that? Yeah. He only got five more years for that? He only got five more years for that. I don't even think his sentence was going to even be that long. They was talking about letting him go or something. That was the hearing was about. Yeah, but she she said, I think you need prison time. And he wasn't trying to hear that. But he got five more attacks But you're right. Like, that was his first time in. His initial sentence was only going to be like a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. You just was like, He just ain't like her. Nah. That's a long time, though. <laughs> what five years ago? No, shit. two months. Oh, two man. weeks, nigga. Two weeks. Nigga, two days. That's a long time. What I gotta do time. to get out of here? <laughs> two, two days, weeks, nigga. Yo. You like I ain't never yo, coming back. This is what bro. I'm saying. Like I told my man Jimmy, nigga, I'm leaving the country for yeah. two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy reminded yeah. me that other day. What up, Jimmy? Peace. Uh, <laughs> so if I get two months in I'm prison, the by the time I get yeah. out, job gone. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Come two on, months in hell, yeah. Two months, bro. Nah, that ain't I'm that. getting out of here. My I'm job hires. Take a quick leave of absence. But like, okay, I, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tap into that family. But leave. you never know how. What if, what if they just? What if they arrest a nigga leaving leaving the crib now? Nah, if it get if you come now, up, you don't even have a chance. Nah, you still get phone calls in jail. If it becomes brother. public, then but then you got a problem. I wasn't even making a call for crazy, my job. They know everything. But if it's private, you just got locked up for a couple of weeks. You, you could you could survive. Yeah, you, you, I see what y'all saying. You you could you could. I mean, I, finesse I could, your way through that situation. You can get back to your job. Emergency FMLA leave. That's yeah, a good point. Yeah, a little family, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's a good point. We got like unlimited days change. at my shit, so I could so just take a few days. You know how valuable you are, though. Yeah, I mean, what yeah. kind of value? Yeah, you bring? Yeah, yeah, this is if true. You're a piece of shit. You yeah, piece of shit. I can't yeah, yeah, wait to fire this nigga. They're gonna write you right off. I said, "Yep, we gonna get somebody new." Best producer. What was that? Was a who Diddy. is the best producer? Mm, Diddy. This is weird though, because when we say producer, I, and I'm gonna be honest, I got to do more homework on this because the only producers I know would Diddy. be Diddy, would be JD, Dre, Premier, Pharrell, Swiss, but Diddy. I don't know like R and B producers or Diddy. like you know, know what I'm saying? Diddy, okay. that's it. I don't know. You gotta is it Diddy? Kanye, mm-hmm. you got a few Kanye arguments. Mm-hmm. The top gotta greatest Kanye. 50 Kanye is, Kanye is, is was one of the goats. Oh, Diddy. Metro Boomin is a producer. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's a producer. Yeah, yeah. All right, so artist. that makes sense. I mean, Metro I was Boomin about to tell was on everything you. in the last ten years. Metro mm-hmm. Boomin. Metro Boomin. Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's on, on everything in the last ten years. 
His tag is fucking. I'm so sick of his tag. Metro Boomin. Yeah, because when you talk about, I'm shoot you. I see why you say Diddy, and I would I would agree with that Trey. until he put me on to Jermaine Dupri. But let's talk Diddy for a minute. Diddy got the the Mariah Carey joints. And it's just, uh, um, he got that Brian McKnight joints. Yeah. Joe to C, Mary J. Blige, One Twelve, mm-hmm. Mace, Black Rob, you know, just to name a few. Yeah, Biggie. He you did know what I'm craft saying? the sound. He crafted the sound for the nineties. Yeah, he yeah. So he, he was part that. of that. But then we got Dre, Death Row. They had a sound. Yeah, Dre. Dre crafted a sound for the nineties. I forget too. the name of that. Dre shit. Craft the sound for the West Coast. Yeah, see, we Snoop. still going back to his shit right now. Come but on. see, these are different DLC. kinds of producers. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I'm about you to know say because Timberland's up there too. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even think about see, him. See, and Puff, yeah, he definitely Puff, a even Just Blaze. Yeah, even Just Blaze. Now those are like we see. Yeah, Just Blaze definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, like Just Blaze actually makes the beats. Mm-hmm. Puffy is a nigga that has an idea and say, do this, do that, do that. Dre does do that, do that, do that too. He has he direction, but he actually he pushes the button, pushes some buttons. And when it's <laughs> when we mix it in and making it sound the way he's doing all that kind of stuff. Timbaland is a nigga that he got the keyboard. He's making the beat. Mm-hmm. So you got to kind of give different weight to each of them, depending on what kind of producer. They so are. who would you, you say would be top five then up there? This is why I say Jermaine Dupri is different than everybody up here. Cause, Cause he got a he, lot of joints. He fucks around. He does the, the tapping on the machines. He makes the beat. He writes the song. He mm. he references the song and tells them how you should perform it. He crafts their whole image. This is what you're gonna look like. And this is how you're gonna wear. Mm. Um, and he does that for not hip hop, R and B, Mariah, Jackson. Janet Jackson, uh, Criss Cross, uh, Lil Bow Wow. Um, he does that for a range of different people. And that's true. A lot of the people like, he worked with still, they still doing different things. Bow Wow's always been in the limelight. Yeah. The Brat doing her little show yeah, right now. Yeah, brat, right. Mariah Carey, come on. She's she's Miss Christmas. Right. Every Christmas comes out, she's getting a fat check, right? right? It's time. Kanye so, West is good too, though, because when he first came out, that college dropout and just his style of production with the soul food mm-hmm. beats, even though there were soul food beats before him. Nah, he did it. He kind of like brought yeah. that out. Like even that through the, the wire pro- joint. Right. Like, right. come on, man. Like all of that shit was dope. Right. Let me see you scroll down. Even the other producers say Kanye West came in and killed that style. They couldn't even fuck with him in that old. That, that yeah, that soul food. She is a When I'm a new. RZA, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about RZA. RZA was cool, but... He's not one of my favorites up there. RZA, RZA's... All right. Pete he's, Rock? Pete Rock? Like, the rapper? From Pete, Pete Rock, Rock he, and he's a producer. Smooth? Yeah, he's a producer. He made all those beats that CMC and Smooth. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Right, right, right. I didn't um, even know that. Who else he... Um, who else? Uh, Mecca was... What is... Um, they got Hit Boy up there. Pete Rock did a lot of shit. Him and... um, He's like a... Uh, Click on it, see it'll, it'll show what see I up. hope it'll show what they what they did. Quincy Jones, come on now. Of course, this you know, my man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying DJ rapper often mentioned on ah, side of Risen. Q Tip, Q Tip, producer. Mm. This is true. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it's Quincy I mean, but Jones. That, yeah, that's just, that made sense what you said. Like, you got to figure out. There, there's many lanes of production. Yeah, you know what, what songs what they did. Say. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's a better way to attack it because then we could be like, oh, he did this song, he Jay did Della. that song. Now, when you, now, let's say if we had a toss up and knew, like, all the producers who did everything from yeah. make the beat, make the track, right? Craft the look, the craft the right song, write the song, and then sent the artist in. It if was, we had a list like that, then maybe we could like study it and see. see. And, no, and to me, that it'll be hard to get that though, right? Would be the top, and it would only be a few names like yeah. Diddy, it, it would Dre. Be, no, Diddy wouldn't be in there. You don't think he'd be at the top? Like the no, songs. Like, no, no, no. I mean, no like, beats. well, as far as just making the, the final decision on the shit, he definitely don't write the songs. Yeah, but but he. he so we, if we talk about like the top of the producer pile, where they mm. do all these things, like a Jermaine uh, Dupree. Okay, I see. The only actually doing it. Maybe. Maybe a Quincy Jones, maybe a um, Barry Gordy, because they played instruments and on on these on these Motown hits and these Michael Jackson songs. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? 
So it's not a, it's, that's a rare category, a real producer that actually makes the shit. Yeah. Top. Most producers say, I got an ear and uh, I'm going to come in and guide you to make these hit songs because I know what a hit song is. You know what I mm-hmm, mean? Mm-hmm. So that's usually what it is. Yeah, um, true. But it's all different things, though. It's all different things. I mean, they all do different things. The dream. <clears throat> so we got Top Diddy. My dream is fine. We're going to go dream through a, a couple of these, dream but we got. Fire. And he's a writer and producer. Yeah, Dream is one of the fire yeah, really ones. Well. Yeah, he plays. He got that sound. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a writer, producer, and a musician. Yeah. A lot of Diddy songs. All right. These, a lot of these are older. Top Diddy produced songs. All about the Benjamins. Been Around the World. Hypnotized. Last Night. No one else. These a lot of these are old. I can't Who's even this? front. This is Diddy. Diddy. Mm. Best friends. I never even heard of that. The but body you know, rock. Diddy ain't made none in ten years or so. Thinking this, this of you, Usher. As soon as I get home, he ain't made a track in a minute. Yeah, that love album was the thing. That was, oh, he did shit with Keisha he Cole. He knew he was okay. out of here. He had to do one last album. And from what I heard, it was all right. All yeah, right, so he really most know. Like it. At least according to this, this is his top produced songs. Mm. Boy, boy one of the Swiss beats. Boy, one die. I never really liked Swiss beat style of production. I did. I never really Put did. Put your hoodie on except and just. For, oh, now. Except for it's on um stuff. DMX songs. Mm. I like like sometimes he'll make a beat. I'd be like, damn, it's the same beat. It seems sometimes it seems like he's making the same beat a lot. Trish was all fire. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Yeah. I, I fuck with his beats. Yeah, it was, was all fire. I was a little turned off from him because I think he be. Let's do J. He got a style, but. He, he kind of play it. He play. He, it's too much. I like so that. So put your hoodie on and just dug it all out. Oh, come on. Go back there. Bunch of the shits he did. School busy. So QZ. we got from Jermaine Dupree. We got Confessions. Funk the Fire, which I like that. We nah, belong that together. Where I carry always be my baby. Okay, he produced that song. You got it bad. Always on my mind and my boo. Who's my that? Boo. Jump, Grills, Confessions. Jermaine Dupree top yeah. produced songs they saying. Huh. I don't know what the criteria is for it. It's not saying all they songs. This is just it's probably like most. it's just top produced. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Nice and slow, Usher. Oh, he did Usher albums. Come on, man. Yeah. Stop, man. Who can I run to escape? That was my joint. Escape. Of course, the Chris Cross was my joint. My yeah. boo, the Usher joint. Oh, money ain't a thing with Hove. Joint. Who can I run to was his joint. Yep, that was my joint. Who can who can I run to when I need love? <laughs> That's my shit. He did a lot. Okay. I need it. Yo, Jermaine Dupri is a business. You know, yeah, he, he never really get the, the, the shine I think he need. Is he Tov- up here, though? Zaytoven. Yeah, he up there, so he should be up Jermaine there Jermaine Dupri? Um, I right. ain't I seen him. Oh, That's You're a good right. point. See, they be oh, playing him. No, I ain't seen him. They be playing him, y'all. Yeah, he definitely not up he, there. He definitely got 50 Cent up here. He ain't no fucking producer. Okay, so yeah, he's yeah, a that, music that's... producer. You're a <laughs> He's a producer. I mean, a movie producer. Yeah, movie producer. He ain't, he ain't doing Mayer. no... You know what I mean? Uh, no. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. This is a good little list because there's a whole bunch of different kinds of producers. Mm-hmm. Boy Wonder. Yeah, Kanye is still the goat though. Who can I run of this to? new age, Kanye is the one. Yeah, Kanye got it. He's All of the man. lights. He's the man. People hate Kanye. They don't like you mention his name. They get real emotional about Kanye, but Kanye is the man. He's Let me see Kanye genius, West yeah. produced songs. Yeah, he got so many Runaway, I Wonder Carnival. I'm that was like, a Timberland beat right there. What, Runaway? Right. That dirty off your shows is joint. Flashing yeah, lights, yeah. all of the lights, stronger. Yeah, he got he just got a bunch of shit. That was niggas in Paris, power. Like he got he got too Kanye. much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kanye. Kanye, yeah. Got Kanye is a hit maker, yo. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's a hit he maker. Definitely a hit maker. And he tries some shit and people still fuck with him. He's the only nigga that could just try a whole different style. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. Man. Cause he that's the power of the producer yeah. or the producer performer. Cause you could go up in there, try different stuff, and mm-hmm. you know, mess with the sound, make a whole get different it to, sound. Yeah, yeah. Who the hell is Nigel? Jay Dilla is nice. Jay Dilla. Yeah, I don't know who this guy, but these. If they, I hear the name Jay Dilla. I never. Like, I don't know who he is though. I've heard that name a Jay lot. Jay Dilla is from. Uh, right? No, no, he's from Chicago. He's a producer. 
and he's an old school producer. But what makes him special is the way he sampled. His sampling technique is something that mm. everybody is trying to figure out. He was like a genius with the MPC. Mm. So mm. Jay Dilla is special in that way. He died. Uh, he died of um, I think it was. I don't know. And they if it was said two thousand four, some shit like that. Two thousand six. Two thousand six. Excuse me. So yeah, he passed away. Like, um, but. He was a genius with the with those machines and the way he cut up music mm. and samples was like next level. And it does like some new type shit or new whatever. New type of shit to the game, yeah, yeah. That everybody bites right to this day. Okay, okay. interesting. Yeah, that was a good topic. He was the best. Yeah, producer. that was a nice little. But I'm gonna say Kanye West. I'm talking about today, right now, Kanye. I would have to probably agree. Yeah, I'm agree. I'm gonna say Kanye yeah. out of everybody right right I now. I ain't got no debates on that. Cause he been more cons- he's been the most consistent, and his shit always sound dope. Always, always sound no dope. Complaints. Even if you don't like the song, it just it's even if I give a lot of fucking points. like that other joint you got. I'm getting this nigga in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The you know oh, we uh, said that was I the, the a good music day. I treat the label like money from my shows. Good yeah, yeah, would have yeah. been God, except I had a boy. Oh, uh-huh. if I knew she was she and still for the ball clothes. It was, oh, ah, yo, yo, people <laughs> sleep on it. Even um um Tiana's uh, album with him, Nas albums with him, Pusha T's. Oh yeah, album, that album with him. I like that. Like, like seven it. song yeah, albums yeah, that yeah, whole yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of those. There's some joints on them shits. People sleep on it, yo. He's stop sleeping on Kanye. Yo, Kanye yeah. is the shit, my nigga. Y'all. I don't care what he does personally, man, but as an artist, we gotta separate the two. He yeah. is the shit, my nigga. And y'all yeah. need to stop being so emotional about it. Even that new slaves you know joint. <laughs> slaves. The new slaves joint that he came slaves. out with years ago. That shit was dope. Just that song. I didn't hear the whole That album was okay. It was But cool. that song he yeah, had was yeah. dope, I thought. You know but what I'm saying? The first three albums classic. Man. I'm just here to get paid. Yeah, I love how he, he he's good at using the sounds that he uses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The he's, old soulful joints. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Shout to you, Kanye Z. Yeah, shout out to Ye. Um, and he's a marketing genius too. You see what he did at the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah. He's paid seven million for a commercial. And then he made filmed it. it like on his phone in the back seat of a car. And sold like million. twenty million dollars worth of gear that same day. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Like, come on, man. That was and crazy. look what he's doing with his album. He puts the album out. Now everybody else, they put the album out and then they wait for the sales mm. to come in. He is renting out stadiums so you can come and listen to the album with me. That's smart. Making oh, millions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would have did that. All you're doing is just playing to that. That's crazy. For people. Yeah, They're not even performing. So he's nah, actually some renting them, out the stadiums. Some some did, some they, they did little snippets. They be on the lie. stage, but they don't be really performing. No, nah, they did little snippets. Yeah. Like, so he actually well, ran, he was ran out the stadium and allowed you to day. come in for free. Like, yeah, he's he's he yeah. already sold the album to you. You already listened to the album. Yeah, that's he true. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is a listening party in the stadium. Mm-hmm. Come with me. And it creates a moment. A whole nother ticket now you got to yeah, buy. Yeah, yeah. When it creates most a times people release an album, they just sit back and hope that it makes some yeah, money. Bubbles. Yeah. Nobody's doing that. Everybody's gonna start doing what he's doing. But yeah, everybody he, he, he's can't a pioneer. Get out their seat though to do that though. See, that's Kanye. Yeah, he definitely on his yeah. pioneer shit. Dude, we hate no Kanye. That's a good See, idea, I though. Know, we I, don't hate know no I don't know why they just be why. hating Kanye, man. I think, well... Because he's part, the controversial. Yeah, yeah. and he says a lot of rapper. shit that yeah. they don't want out there. Yeah, but that's what you get with a nigga like that. You don't get genius like that without all the extra... And I think it's I think I think they say he's crazy too. I think they say that to kind of discredit him because now every time we think about what he's saying could be true, but now he has that crazy undertone with him. So it's like it like the rape stigma. You know Mm. what I'm saying? Like when you put that on, even if even if Bill Cosby is innocent now, there's still people that talk about him to this day. Like I can't believe yo you guys deal with that rapist or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that stigma be a motherfucker. Yeah. That's just yeah, like yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah. yeah. People yeah. call... They, I ain't let R. Kelly around my kids. Nope. My niggas is nope. bad listening yeah. to his I music. I play his music, but I ain't letting you around saying? my kids, so, though. <laughs> even to this day, I wonder how those parents just... How you just take your daughter to somewhere and just leave them with some grown men? Well, Yo, no, I'm, pops, I'm sitting in that room. I'm sitting there. I don't yeah, care you gotta if be this there. was an yeah, eight hour recording session. I'm right there, dog. They probably also yeah. didn't expect him to be doing that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But I like, don't care. Even if he would, even, even if he had none of these accusations, 
I'm still in the room. I'm never leaving to be my there. daughter with some other dude. I need to be there ever. with you. Yeah, yeah, this is true. I mean, it's hard for me to leave her at school. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta come check in on them. I mean, I gotta go pop up on them niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> this is true, though. Like, shit. Nah. Like, come on, baby, you know. These are all you valid girl points. Always tell me that stigma is going to be on you. Anything you can tell me, anything. <laughs> so Diddy done. Yeah, basically. Diddy done. Yeah, everything we talk about is going to come back to Diddy, and that's what's so weird. Yeah. That's right? crazy shit. That's how because he intertwined he is. Look, we get ready to go. He on is another topic to Diddy again. He's, he's intertwined. In, he's in the universe. Yeah, yeah so he's, into, he's, he's, he's intertwined with everything. But it is what it is. Like this next topic, light liquor versus dark liquor. You see, saying like mm-hmm. we we could go there. You know what I'm saying? Ciroc versus Ciroc Henny. versus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was at war for. A they was at war for a little minute. And you know what? Uh, the the Ciroc, um, Ciroc got me drinking light liquor for a minute though, because those flavors was pretty dope. Some of those flavors was dope as fuck though. Yo. I used to be only dark liquor. I'm a dark know? liquor drinker. I used to do yeah. the light liquor, but it gives me like a. A headache and a hangover, so that's I don't that enjoy cheap it. Liquor, man. Yeah, 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 that's true too. Yeah, you that's true. Liquor. That's true. Also, you gotta yeah. get some Can't quality. Dispute that. You gotta get some quality. Quality. Always quality get quality liquor, with always drink. Beats. But until then, dark it is for me, my man. Wow. So you just drink a Henny? Dark it is for Bruce Leroy. You still yeah, drink a Hennessy? Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't know. I'm on some tequila <clears throat> there. I don't yeah. drink a lot, but so I want my shots. Well, as far as liquor is, I said, but I want my shots to be hitting. So I, I do talking? some tequila. Get you a tequila shot, yeah. brother. Casamigos or something. I'm good. I sip. I sip shot. on a henny mm-hmm. all night. One cup straight. Yeah. Little oh, bit 1738. Of ice. I do. That's fuck not with that. drinking. 1738 is good. Matter of fact, I got some. some shit That's not drinking. It is. You sipping on one cup all night? Yeah, I ain't drinking. That's having a drink in your hand. Yeah, but I'm still <laughs> drinking. I'm doing the process no, of drinking. You're sipping. I that still means drinking. your body is metabolizing it way faster than your drink. Drinking mm-hmm. is the process of intaking there fluids go. into yeah. your body. All right, I got to go to the bathroom, man. Let's pause this. Word. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs>